How's it going? It is all the news all the time. Yes, it is. And my name is Adam, as always, uh, I think. And uh, we're looking at some fashion today. You know I like fashion. And uh, we're looking at some... Uh, I don't know what we're looking at, but we're looking at it already. Uh, this woman, I think, uh, looks like she's off the set of uh, Lemony Snicket's Home for Peculiar Children, uh, The Governess, or some such thing. And uh, she looks frankly absurd, which I like <laughs> already, straight off. Uh, kind of Tim Burton. I'm getting Tim Burton vibes. I'm getting Beetlejuice vibes. Uh, I'm getting all sorts of crazy vibes from this woman. Uh, we've got grey with grey on grey with grey and grey and grey, which I like. Uh, if you're going to go grey, go grey. And uh, well, let's just have a little close up. <laughs> She's got rollers in as well. Why not? Indeed. She hasn't got any hands, which is very unfortunate for her. And let's have a look at the next image we've got. <laughs> it's, uh, I'm getting Wednesday Adams. I'm getting uh, Wednesday Adams, um, New York aunt, who's turned up. Um, <laughs> look at this woman. <laughs> I wish women would dress like this all the time. So it'd be frankly hilarious. Women walking around like this would be brilliant. Um, it's great. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, what else we got? The next one. Um, even more, even more. She's sporty. She's going to be playing tennis in this outfit. <laughs> no, she's not. No, she's not. Uh, she's very Wednesday Adams. She's uh, she's snapping her fingers all the time. Uh, I like this little uh, detail here. And uh, she looks absurd, which I like. Uh, the absurdity of it. <laughs> uh, so cool. Uh, these spats. I'm going to call these shoes spats from the 19... Uh, 30s, yeah, two-tone spats, I like those, I like the bag, I like the ensemble of grey on grey on grey with grey, and grey and grey with some white down at the bottom, and uh, <laughs> she should be in one of those big uh, hearses uh, driven by Lurch around the place, and she can get out and scare people, and <laughs> it's very funereal, uh, that's what I'm saying, she's been to a funeral uh, by choice, and it wasn't even anyone she knew. And um, I like this bag. Is that a ship? That's a ship. Look, it's a Titanic ship. Oh my God. It's the Titanic. It's sunk. She loves it. Uh, it's <laughs> uh, for when you're feeling uh, emo goth, uh, but you've got loads of money. Emo goth with money. I like it with Titanic. More emo goth outfits. Brilliant. Grey on grey and grey with grey with uh, hints of grey and accents of uh, oh, this sort of a beigey number here. Very nice. Uh, again, she's gone to uh, multiple funerals today and she enjoyed every one of them. And that was good times for her. <laughs> it's a lemony snicket as uh, aunt has turned up again and <laughs> with her Russian uh, fur hat thing that's perched on her head, not doing anything. And it's, I, I would love women to walk around like this. I would really like it. I think that would be just brilliant it's more like cosplay than it is clothing and I, i'm down for it <laughs> it's like a chanel suit from the uh 50s uh it's this broad check light lots of grays on grays and grays we've got a nautical theme going on uh sort of we've got a hat that looks like a paper boat folded together still with rollers red white and blue rollers are we saying something are we saying the french tricolore are we saying uh, american Red, white, and blue. Are we saying Union Jack? Could be anything. Uh, could be anything. Uh, the shoes match the jacket, match the skirt, match the other jacket. There's matchy, matchy all all the way up and down. And um, she is uh, she's casting spells on people and uh, and in, invading uh, all sorts of things. What else? <laughs> I love this. This is great. She's got multiple checks, uh, nautical again, and uh, she likes standing very upright. And uh, that's that's her thing, against a grey background, and uh, I like the tights. They look like uh, tartan, sort of, but uh, they're not. L but uh, kind of, it looks like she hasn't got her pants on or trousers on or skirt on, and she just hasn't got anything on, uh, which I'm down for as well. And uh, what else is going on? <laughs> She's got a seal. It's a seal bag. Uh, what's why? Who knows? Uh, when clothing turns into sort of. Uh, costume and it's it's more about uh, dress up then uh, <laughs> the shirt comes all the way down here and the jacket's gigantic but it's not really a jacket it's a it's a cloak of uh, anonymity in a world of I don't know I'm making stuff up as I go here what else have we got uh, she's off to the seaside she wants everyone to know 
that she's uh, she's off to the seaside and she's <laughs> got a scarf around and another scarf on a jacket with boats on it with a bag of boats on it I mean she's got so much money that she can theme everything uh, that she's doing that day so as she's going to the boats she's in a boat theme when she goes to play tennis she'll obviously have a tennis bag and a tennis jacket and a tennis jacket and a tennis scarf and when she goes uh, to the shops she'll have little pictures of shops it'll be brilliant uh, she's themed all day long <laughs> they left her alone in the lost property office and in the station and she just put on everything she could find and uh, she's not she's not worried about that she's gone pastely this time she's gone less emo goth now she's in <laughs> she doesn't seem very happy about it and she's gone very pastely uh, with the grey um, I would say Switzerland Verbier tennis skiing um, that's that's what I'm thinking right there I'm liking all this stuff uh, <laughs> what's the next bizarre thing we're looking at she's got sheep is that a sheep it's probably a sheep uh, black and white all over uh, reminds me of that joke about uh, newspapers and nuns uh, she's got a whale on her head she's having a whale of a time and she's got checks she's got lines going this way lines going that way lines going this way she's got it all going on I'm getting really emo goth Wednesday Adams, Lemony Snicket, Home for Peculiar Children, uh, Tim Burton vibes off this woman all the time. Um, she looks like a 16-year-old boy who's been sent off to boarding school. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's a dog. <laughs> it's a dog. Um, uh, yeah, I like the little pop of colour here. I like the uh, uh, rich boarding school kid, teenage boy outfit. Um, I'm not sure about this headscarf. It reminds me of uh, babushkas uh, from the 1920s, and uh, I'm, I'm not down for 1920s babushkas. Uh, <laughs> brilliant. She's got nautical again. She's uh, she's on some sort of boat again. She's got a whale. She's having a whale of a time. I'm, that's twice. Uh, she's got a whale bag. She's got a jacket. It looks like an RAF jacket, but the blue as well the, makes me think RAF. She's got skirt over trousers. Never understood that. Uh, she's very naval colours, British Navy colours, uh, these dark, which is literally called navy blue, and uh, yeah, she's uh, she's a lieutenant, lieutenant uh, or captain of some uh, frigate, maybe uh, in in Tim Burton film. <laughs> That's what she is. She's got a whale on her head yet again. She's got this long, crazy uh, triangular silhouette that goes all the way down. Um, she should be in a film. She should be in a film with uh, Tim Burton uh, saying mysterious things with a bag. Uh, the Titanic bag is brilliant. Uh, there should be a little iceberg on the front of it somehow. And uh, yeah, she should be in a Tim Burton film walking up to people saying really strange, obscure things. Like uh, on, on Thursday, the dreams of sand turn to cheese and then walking off. That's what I'm getting from. <laughs> what is this? What even is this? Um, it's it's brilliant. It's kind of brilliant in a mad, uh, mad way. The scarf is this uh, weird sort of uh, what are we calling this? Like pockets, like an eider down. It's, this is going to be warm as warm as a frog. And uh, the patchwork jacket, I like it. It's saying I didn't have enough material to make a proper jacket, so I got all these bits of material. To, but no, this obviously cost way more of doing it this way. And then these blocks of colour and weird little things everywhere weird blocks but blocks on blocks there's blues on blues on blues there's a weird paper boat hat on again the bag is kind of normal it's not like a frog or a toad or, toad or a boat or a, um, I really like it she looks crazy and I like that about people and what have we got here we've got a navy jacket looks like RAF that looks like a waffy women's auxiliary royal air force skirt um, the bag is nice with a little trickler uh, tab to pull. I like that. So we've got a trickler up here and a trickler down there. We've got some tricklers all over the place. Still not sold on this headscarf. And this hat is frankly ludicrous. She's got skirt over trousers and the shoes are quite nice. There's a lot of fun things here. It's a lot of fun craziness. Uh, I really like the jacket. Really like the bag. Uh, I like the shoes. Uh, no, no, yes, no, yes, yes. Lots of uh, different things going on <laughs> I like it. I'd like it I know it's a paper boat I know it's a sort of hat um, but I like it very much wow this jacket's lovely look 
at that. That's a proper uh, fully square rigged ship. I used to work on one of these. And that's a, uh, what is that? Blue whale? Right whale? Something like that. Lighthouse. I really like it. And the bags of whales too big. But yeah, I like, I mean, this is just nautical all day long. I, I like nautical stuff. I really like it. If there was a male version of this, I'd be thinking, well, I actually want something. Um, I like it indeed. <laughs> it just gets crazier. It gets crazier by the day. We, oh man, have we got we got whalers? We got a whaling ship. We got whales. We got is it Captain Ahab down here? Is that is that the white whale? Yeah, it looks like a white whale to me. Uh, she's but up here we're saying Russian babushka, and uh, we're in the uh, the Russian steppes. Down here, we're in the uh, the Atlantic Pacific. Where was that set? I don't know. There's a whale bag. I know that's a whale bag, even though I can't see it properly. And she's got the crazy shoes. There's so many fun things. This is a great coat. This is great. I, I'm starting to like this. <laughs> We're back on Lemony Snicket's uh, School for Peculiar Girls. What are those? Those are ugly. I like I like the whale, the less whale. I'm going to call this a, um, a right whale. There's a lot of different types. Um, I like the, the, the stitching looking like it's sort of not made, but it is, or it's been under construction, but it's already made. I like that. This sleeve needs to come down a touch, but obviously it's meant to be up here. But I don't. I'm not down for that. And uh, yeah, it's, it's jaunty. I don't like the boots. It's jaunt because they look like construction worker boots to me. They look like uh, caterpillars. And uh, we've got the blue, and red, white, and blue thing. The trickler keeps coming in. Oh yeah, so many things. So many good things going on. Uh, we've got checks on checks on checks. Trickler. Uh, check 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 check. The whole matchy matchy thing. I like. It's really nice contrast to colours. Um, I like it very much indeed. I'm down with this uh, for this Tom. What was his name? Tom Brown. Thom. T H O M. Thom. Is that Tom with a silent H? Who knows these things? Uh, stripy, broad, stripy number. We got a dog as a bag. <laughs> I like it. It's quirky. It's cute. So you can put your phone in it. Um, the the paper boat hat is brilliant. Thom Brown. I love this. I'm loving this stuff. It's a, it's a whale. It's a Russian Yamaluk. Yamaluk what are they called? Yamaluk. Can let me know in the comments what they're called. These Russian hats, the fur trapper hat things. Um, yeah, I mean it looks great. It does. It's fun. It's quirky. It's cosplay. It's costume. You've got a whale on your head, and uh, you're having a whale of a time three times. Oh, my apologies. Uh, <laughs> the bag is actually practical and kind of boring. Uh, the trickle is there. It looks like a Gladstone bag, uh, if you remember those, the uh, the old doctor bags, where the doctor would turn up at your house and open up the bag and uh, and chop your arm off or whatever. Why has she got no arms? She's still got. Oh, there's there's her arms down there. All right, I'll let you off. Um, <laughs> these colours are too much. Uh, yeah, they're too much for my liking. The rest were quite subtle. This is uh, this is uh, the Wednesday Adams drunk aunt has turned up. And uh, the bags are great though, the jaunty nautical number. Uh, again, we've got, it's like a blazer, it's, uh, but that reminds me of gin palaces too much. I've, I've been on a few gin palaces, this is lovely. Look at this, it's a freaking ship. Oh, that's the bag. If I was a girl, I'd be like, I want a Titanic bag. That's just the best. It's, it should have three funnels for Titanic. And uh, for my liking, we should have cannons. Uh, this is why boys don't have bags. <laughs> Paper boat hat, love it, glasses, scarf, the tricolour, the stripes, the mismatching panels, the tro the, the this bag is brilliant. The shoes, I mean this this woman looks great. She looks completely mad. She looks like uh, um Helena Bottom Carter um if she went nautical for the day. It's brilliant. Brilliant, love it. I mean look at that. Where would you see that uh, outfit walking around town? You wouldn't you wouldn't see anybody it's just brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant. Love Thom Brown, Tom Brown. Don't like this. <laughs> Don't like that. Let's move on. Uh, <laughs> and I'm not keen on that either. Uh, okay, so we're stuck having to deal with this. Okay, so third time's the charm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it looks like it doesn't fit. It's like right up here, right, right down there. It's just, it's, let's move on. And <laughs> I'm sort of stuck now with these things that look bad. Uh, I'm trying to like them. I'm trying to find something that I appreciate, and I'm not finding it. 
Okay, we're back. So that's nice. The tailoring, the uh, the bringing in of the waistline, the uh, the unstructured rough edges of the uh, material at the sleeves, at the edges of the pockets, um, a patch, not lids, not patch pockets. The I don't know what you call these bits, the outer bits of a pocket that hold the flaps. I'm going to call them flaps. Uh, these are nice. The bag's nice. Tartan looks like super cute. Super cute. It does remind me of some sort of Tim Burton film, though. And <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, these are brilliant. These are absolutely brilliant. She's got a blanket. She's made it into a coat. She's got a dog. She stuffed him, turned him into a bag. She's brilliant. She's a uh, Wednesday Adams, a quite delirious aunt, which I like. And uh, what have we got going on here? Nautical theme again. We got ships, whaling ships, lighthouses, um, two masted. Uh, that would be a caravel, wouldn't it? A two masted ship. Um, or you'd have the main mast, mizzen, and spanker on the back. Uh, think about ships there. And really nice. As ships got um, older and they're more developed, the sail plan changed and they added more masts and they added more yards and more sails. So you can tell how old uh, a ship is basically on how basic it is, you know, going backwards in time. Uh, but this I like. I like this very much. What have we got going on? <laughs> it's just such a cool, quirky, um, don't know. No, no, they're too new rock to me. New rock as in N-U-R-O-C-K, those uh, sort of goth boots that people used to wear. Uh, I like the jacket, I like the nautical theme, I like the bag, I like the trickler. Keep bringing this in, I don't know why it's there, but I like it. The boots, just a uh, big contrast with everything else. And I'll get back to Lemony Snicket's uh, School for Peculiar Children. She's the governess, she turns up, uh, she's got a skirt, she's got trousers, she's got a jacket, and uh, she's going to be the governess, and she's going to say mysterious things to people, which is cool. <laughs> Um, if this woman's not in the next Wednesday Adams uh, series, I don't know what's going on uh, in life. <laughs> it goes all the way down to here. She looks like Cousin It, with the hair going all the way down. Let's have a long look. That's just so cool. It's just such a cool thing. It goes all the way from the, the shoulder all the way down to here in one straight line. I just like it so much. <laughs> it's just, that's brilliant. That's a brilliant uh, Tom Brown, Tom Brown. I, I wish you didn't have an H because then I could say your name properly. But apart from that, I like the cut of your jib because that's a nautical thing. Um, this, I like the patchwork. There's so many good things here. The patchwork shenanigans, the uh, over large stitching, the splits, the weird splits, the patches on top of patches. She looks like the artful Dodgers, wealthy um, emo aunt from Tim Burton, Wednesday Adams. I'm just getting so many weird combinations of stuff thrown together uh, on a boat. <laughs> Again, it's very nautical. She's got a seal. Uh, yep, it's a seal. She's got some sort of platform heels going on there as well. Very nautical. We're back in the Victorian era where they're out collecting spermicelli. Oh, remember that? Sper no, you don't, because no one does. Uh, spermicelli and uh, oil. Uh, spermicelli was used as a... Um, what was that used for? Was it perfume? Or am I thinking of uh, ambergris? I'm thinking of ambergris as well. And uh, spermicelli for oil, oil production for lamps, for whales. And um, I mean, an interesting motif for fashion, uh, early Victorian whaling. Yeah, you don't see that very often. <laughs> you don't. Uh, if someone could explain these rollers to me, that would be so kind. And uh, this jacket I don't like. I've seen this sort of thing before. don't like it. And, yeah, normally we get caught in a few, which I don't like. Like these cheeky things. There, we're going back. She's uh, back into her emo goth. She's been to a funeral. And she's going to another one tomorrow. And she's loving life. Well, <laughs> she's loving dead people. She's a close friend of Wednesday Adams and Pugsley. <laughs> brilliant. This girl is brilliant. Okay, I like it very much. And this is uh, the similar version, but for her mother. And uh, again, oh, look how clean everything is. It's just straight lines, no decorations, minimalism, clean aesthetic. 
it's this uh, I don't know uh, Austrian skiing funeral emo goth mother aunt crocodile bag uh, she's got a pet crocodile she's got a pet um, monitor lizard and uh, and she skis in Verbier there's a lot of things I was thinking then <laughs> it's uh, it's again it's cousin it's uh, other cousin that <laughs> she's, got, she's got a Russian fur trapper hat on uh, if someone can tell me what they're called that'd be great she's got this huge coat for the wood for the snow and uh, she doesn't care brilliant so let me know your thoughts I think this is frankly beautiful stuff bizarre and beautiful <laughs> this is fun it's nautical it's tailored it's classy it's expensive it looks interesting uh, some are good some are bad um, it's certainly certainly design it's, there's a lot of design gone into this and a lot of thought and and it's such an image imagine walking around like this and going up to people saying hello uh, my name is uh, something really obscure Anastasia Xanthia <laughs> you're not called Susan that's for sure um, yes and this is my daughter Calliopeia Terpsichoria because she's not going to be called Becky is she no sirree and uh, <laughs> boots are stupid uh, I mean what are you, are you you're not on some uh, building site doing carpentry uh, get out of it so <laughs> this jacket's brilliant it's brilliant and this is uh, it's just so emo goth uh, 1990s Tim Burton that's brilliant it's so cool the lines are great the Titanic pack <laughs> it's just so nice yeah I mean that's that's just good all day long okay I found some other fashion which I quite liked this is the second one I found which is good if not quite mad but yeah oh, that one is really nice and look at her she looks like some sort of I don't know Austrian assassin from 007 or something with a Titanic bag and she's got bottles of poison explosives in there knives and guns under here and uh, <laughs> brilliant and uh, it's just great it's a mad combination of stuff <laughs> well there you go let me know your thoughts and uh, like and subscribe I more fashion every week and uh, yeah I will see you guys later